Hi, Alison here, founder of Rough and Tumble. Here I am in my favourite place in the whole world on this beautiful beach in North Norfolk near my home. And as you can see, my dogs absolutely love being in the water and running on the beach. And I always do this very regularly with them. And this is what inspired me to look for something that would dry them off in the house and in the car. And um, so this is how Rough and Tumble Dog Drying Coats was born. So here we are back at the car after that lovely long walk on the beach and dogs got suitably wet and filthy and I've already wrapped up De uh, Red and Daisy in theirs and they're happily drying in the back of the car. Uh, so I thought I'd save Lulu as being my wettest and wriggliest of dogs uh, to demo the coat going on. Um, so I'm putting on a medium large on Lulu. She's a very small Springer Spaniel and the medium large is the size we normally do sell to um, Springer Spaniels. But the, you'll notice this is very big on Lulu and that's because I really like to put a big size on them. Um, so first of all, it goes on over the head and down over the back and then the belly flap comes around under the tummy and you can fasten it really snug because we have so much Velcro there. To, for a flexible fit on a skinnier dog, skinny long dog. And then this hood can come right up over the ears. And I usually give them a bit of a rub to absorb some moisture. And then you can roll that back. We do also have back leg straps on the back here if you've got a very lively wriggly dog, um, which can go over the back legs. Um, I don't tend to use them, but if you have got a wriggly dog, it does help to keep the, dog, the coat in place. And there she is, all ready to jump in the car for our journey home and to dry off with the other dogs. Good girl, well done. So here we are back from the beach. Um, I've actually had some breakfast while the dogs have been happily lying around in their coats and having a good snooze. So now I'm just going to take the coats off and show you um, how that happens. Just stay there, we'll start with red. Um, you notice that the belly flaps are actually quite full of sand, which we'll just quickly rub off. And she's beautifully dry. I'll quickly take off the coat. And then I'll always fasten up the Velcro whenever I take the coats off. Whenever you're not using these coats, just keep the Velcro fastened and it will keep the coat lasting you forever more. And then, here you go, Red, good girl. Then we'll go to Lulu, who's our little wriggly spaniel. And first of all, I'm just going to take these leg straps off quickly. There we go, round here, darling. And we'll take this belly flap off. She's my wriggler, this one. There you go, good girl. And she's lovely and dry as well. I might just give her a quick rub down her back just to get any excess sand off. When they have been to the beach, it's really important to take the coats off outside because you'll get a lot of sand falling out of the coat. And I usually give these a good shake, a rub down and hang them on the washing line. And then they're ready to go again because they're not smelly because they haven't rolled in anything. There you go. And then we come to Daisy, who's my elderly arthritic Labrador. So really important to keep them warm after they've been in the water, just so that their joints aren't sitting damp. It's a good girl. She is beautifully dry. Well done, Daisy. Here you go, good girl. There we are. So that's us all back nice and clean and dry, ready to go in the house. 